So you want to know how to keep your house clean? I have some very good tips for you. Um, I am Dominique and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing with you moms how to keep a clean house. Because like me, because I'm a mom, you guys have messy kids. <laughs> So it's very hard to keep a clean house. Number one is to pick up behind yourself. That is my first tip. And the reason why I say this is because it's very easy because you're so busy to just be like, okay, I'm gonna just leave these my kids clothes on the floor, for example, because I am busy with them in the morning. But it could probably just take two seconds to just fold it up and put it somewhere. Um, and that's just an example of what you can pick up um, right away. Or say you did your makeup. Instead of leaving it there um, on a countertop, put it in a home. My next tip have a home for everything you may have toiletry items have a home for those toiletry items that's just an example but have a home for everything be organized have a home for your shoes have a home like your clothes has a home because we all know clothes go in the drawers clothes go in dirty clothes go in the hamper um, have a home for everything. Speaking of hampers, have a laundry routine. Do what works for you, okay? This tip is to have your kids help you clean up. Like, for example, we know, all know they have meal times. I, my son is two years old. He knows how to pick up his plate and put it in the sink or put it in the kitchen. Have your kids, your older kids, make sure they take the food out, put it in the trash, put it in the sink. Have your kids pick up behind themselves. Have your older kids. Also like my daughter is seven years old, so she knows how to um, clean the table. Even my little four-year-old, she knows how to clean the table. Have your kids help. Have your kids make up their beds in the morning. And that brings me to my next tip. Make up your bed in the morning. It can take two seconds, guys. I mean, maybe five seconds. It can be very fast to do. And the reason why I'm saying like it can be very fast is because because I know like sometimes you might think, okay, I might not have enough time, so I can't make up my bed. But make time. Make sure you make up your bed. Make sure, um, it just brings me to an example because there was a time where I used to actually, this is, I don't want to get too much off of the topic, but there was a time where I used to live in a shelter. And um, if you make a mess, like in the hallway, because like aside from your room, there, you have to like, like there was an example, like this lady, like she left trash on the floor because she was taking the trash out. And she rushed out and didn't clean that up. So the people, they left that there for her to do. And they said, okay, you left this mess here, you have to clean it up. But I know that the reason why she didn't do it was because she was in a rush. And, and she, but like, she was like, oh, my son was helping me with the trash, but I would have done it. Like, I don't care about being like, I would have done it. And that's just an example, like, like clean up behind yourself. You know, don't think, okay, I don't have enough time to do this. Like make time to do things, make time to keep your home clean, your nest clean, your sanctuary clean. Look at your home as your sanctuary. This is my two year old, Trevor. Say hi. Hi. And also, if you made it to this point in the video, please give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and also subscribe. Let your home be a no-shoe zone. Remember, like I said, your home is your sanctuary. I believe, like, there's a scripture in the Bible, like, saying, like, this is holy ground. You don't put shoes on in here. <laughs> but, um, I'm not sure. I'll put the scripture on the screen. <laughs> But I just wanted to give you guys an example. And the reason why is because there are so many things outside that you step on. Like, I walk my daughter to school every day. I see poop on the ground. And I was like, imagine trailing that in the house. You know, there is so many different trash on the floor. There's people spit on the floor. 
putting that in your house. So let your home be a no shoe zone. My next tip is to have cleaning routines. So there are examples of cleaning routines out there, but I just wanted to share what I do. So I have a morning routine and I have a nighttime routine. And they could just be 15 minutes, guys. Like you can have, you can just sit down, take a few minutes and think about what you need to do in the morning. Like I need to clean up after breakfast. I need to make up, keep my, make my, make up my bed. I need to, and that's just an examples for the morning. Last and my final tip is to have a space in your house where your kids are allowed to be messy. Like my space is the living room because that's where their toys are. So they're allowed to keep toys all over the floor, not food on the floor, but toys all over the floor in that room. And, and that, you know, being that that is the toys are right there and just in that room, then they know, okay, when it's cleanup time, that's where the toys are. And it's easier because the toys are in there. So have spaces where kids are allowed to play, are allowed to be messy. And um, that's it. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you have stayed tuned to the end, if this video has helped you in any kind of way, please give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe for more of me, for more cleaning tips, for more clean with me's. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.